Are you feeling it now? Yo, what's up? I'm Harry and this is Kyle. That's Kyle. And tonight, or this afternoon, or whatever time it is where you are, we're gonna glue this American-made throttle addiction shovelhead hardtail to this stock shovelhead swing arm frame. Just like so, kind of like if you just, like that, boom. The dudes at Throttle Addiction were super, super awesome to us and sent us this hardtail. Look how clean the welds are, beautiful. USA made, and if you want to build some sweet shovel head choppers, shovel heads, then you need a hardtail like that. And uh, yeah, let's get into how you do it. So in order to get your stock swing arm frame prepped for hardtailing, aside from taking everything off and stripping it down, you're gonna be making a series of cuts on this bad Larry. Is we're gonna start off by making some cuts here on the seat rails, right there, right there. Just get everything all nice and clean. And then we're going to measure approximately seven and three quarter inches out. Going to hack off the bottom frame rails right there. Then we're going to clean it up here on the backbone a little bit. And then the interesting part comes in right now because we're going to have to clean up and reuse these castings. But we're also going to have to cut them right in half in order to get the throttle addiction frame rails to slide over top onto the backbone. Then re-weld the castings back on. So you'll see. We're switching to Sawzall. Spicy. A little far, but... All right, I'm gonna measure seven and three quarter inches from this plate all the way back. I'm gonna start here at the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three quarters. Right yonder. And then same thing for the other side. All right, so we should have probably done this in the first place. It would have been a lot easier if we just ratchet strapped this bad Larry to the table. But we're gonna do that now and get some of these tougher cuts. Now is the really fun part because we gotta cut this casting loose so the frame rails for the hardtail can slide over top of here. And we gotta cut the original rails from the seat stays on the backbone here. We gotta cut those free as well. And we also have to cut this uh, bung thread stud thing off the transmission guy without damaging any of the uh, welds here. So that bong on there can seat right in there also. So that's the plan for right now. All right, so we got these castings mostly all cut up. Now Kyle's gonna go in with the flapper disc and just clean everything out before we do the barrel sander because um, we're gonna get it nice and clean on the outside before we step it out on the inside there so the rails of the hardtail can fit, fit with inside these castings. And then after that, we're gonna hack the castings off. All right, we got the uh, backbone pretty much all tidied up. We prepped the castings with this barrel sander right there. And then I beveled off the engine. The ed I beveled off the engine. Yeah, I beveled off the edges, so uh, we'll get good penetration for the welds there. Still got to get this slug bung thing out of there. And then after that, um, gonna bevel up the bottom frame rails there. And then cut, cut the, the castings. castings. 
So you see on this uh, American Made Throttle Addiction Hardtail, it's already got transmission studs in the tail end of the frame. So what we did is we cut the cross member for the transmission and left a V that'll cradle that bung right here. It'll cradle this bung. All right, now this is essential to proper mating of the hardtail. Don't forget this step. You're gonna wanna take a 3 8 drill bit and punch and drill some rosette holes there for rosette welding, rosette. And if you break a drill bit off inside of your rosette hole, don't worry about it too much. And we got a ratchet strap on here to kind of squeeze the frame rails in there a little bit. There we go, perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so in my experience, which is very limited, this is the easiest way to get this done. <laughs> Voila. What's up, Internet? It's tomorrow now, and we quit last night because it was late and we got tired. So, what we got to do today on this hardtail is we're going to have to take it off again and shave a little bit off of the original frame rails here and get the transmission plate to seat perfectly on top of these, these threaded bumps here. And, um, Although we're at approximately seven and three quarters back from this plate, that's a little bit of a generous measurement. I mean, cut it long anyways, you don't wanna find yourself winding up short. So we're just gonna take a little bit off and then put the hardtail back on. Should be all good to go, bolt up, and then we're gonna plumb it and then weld it, so that's the plan. All right, now we got the frame all made it up. This looks like a lot of gobblegool over here, but it's just all to ensure that everything's all right. Well, we use ratchet straps to pull the frame and the hardtail together in several several positions and then uh, we found that the bungs the bungs that are supposed to go onto the trans plate for the throttle addiction hardtail were a little close together and the ideal tool for this and, and they've talked about it in uh, previous throttle addiction videos the ideal tool for this to spread these bungs is a, uh, is a exhaust, exhaust manifold, manifold spreader exhaust manifold spreader we don't have one and every auto store we went to didn't have one. So what we did is we took wood, we shimmed it in like a V, kept shimming it in until it spread the bumps. And then we were able to get our transplate on. So the most important thing, the transplate is bolted up to the spuds, bungs here, whatever you want to call them, to the original section of the frame, all nice and good. We got a great gap for welding on each side. And we ran this plumb bob down the center line here just to make sure everything is all nice and juiced up. And then as the directions say, we got this clamp here for the seat rails onto the backbone. And now we tack it up, get ready for finish welding. So I'm gonna MIG weld this bad boy. And first things first, we're gonna tack up these rosette welds on each side. We're gonna give a nice tap on each section where the frame mates. Then after that, I'm gonna keep everything all clamped up, finish well wherever I can before I have to take the clamps off, take the clamps off, flip the frame over, and then finish well and everything like that. So, here we go. All right, the castings are all tacked into place. Got them as straight, as flush as we could. There's gonna be a little bit of fill there. But we're MIG welding, so we'll be able to get it done. All right, so I got all the welding done up here on the top before I go ahead and flip it. Got the bottom all finished welded as much as I could. Now the deal is flip this guy over and then do everything all over again. All right, that'll just about do it for this uh, throttle addiction shovelhead hardtail. Only thing from here is we gotta clean up these welds a little bit and then get some Bondo over top of those bagel areas and should be looking road ready. Other than that, the hardtail went on super easy. I mean, we just had to convince it a little bit with some ratchet straps to get it nice and plump. Other than that, the only thing you really wish we could change, but you can't really, just because the way the frame is designed, is having to hack off the castings there for the frame or for the seat rails. Other than that, though, can't beat a USA made, 100% TIG welded, got the cast axle plates and everything. For the quality and the price point, you really can't beat it. 
So if you're interested in hardtailing your shovel head, go to throttleaddiction.com. And also, shout out to Retz, because they sent us these safety glasses as well. They're 100% safety approved. They're 10 million times more stylish than your average safety glasses. And they're also super comfortable as well. So throttleaddiction.com, check out Rats, check out Hardtails, check out all their other parts, check out some merch, check out some gas tanks, check out life. So have a nice day. Peace.